Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th, okay? So keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid, okay? So what do we have for an energy today? Something on my table. Anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Six of Swords reversed. First card out. So that is refusing to take a new approach. Stuck. We got somebody here that is stuck. They may be stuck in a hostile situation. You know, they're stuck. From the card before that, the Five of Swords, which is hostilities. You know, they're in a situation that they need to get out of. But there's a conflict, right? They're stuck. They need to find a way out. So we got somebody here that needs to take a new approach but they're struggling they are struggling with you know getting offshore getting this started it's interesting because before i started this reading i was sitting here and i and i was getting ready to do it and i had the, i was going to do it in the dark you know how sometimes i go back and forth with the dark and so i was sitting here in the dark and i was getting ready and i and i couldn't get started i couldn't get it started it was like so i tried like three or four times to get this started and i was like just turn the light on. So I stood up and turned the light on and now we're getting started. So everything, there's no such thing as coincidence. So we have somebody here that is struggling to get things going. It, they're struggling, they're struggling to get things going. And I was gonna start the reading out with that too. I was just gonna let you guys know, you know, that I was having a hard time getting started, but finally, finally, here we are. Here we are. This is a light bulb moment. It's like coming out of the dark, coming out of the darkness. It's, you, come on now. Magician reversed. That's going in the past position. Okay, I always start with the uh, now position, then I go to the past position. I don't know why, that's just the way I always do it. Uh, magician reversed is no, no success, not taking any action. Somebody has definitely been stuck in a troubled place, but maybe even a troubled mindset. They could be, there could be some self-manipulation here, fear. Magician reverse is not doing anything powerless but it's like no resources and that may be making an excuse you may some have somebody that's making an excuse you know making up procrastinating you know I can't find the resources to get out of this situation there's always resources there is it's whether you have the get up and go to go find them or not you want to stay in the desperate situation, that is your choice. Six of Swords reverse, that is stuck. Stuck. Can't go. Can go. You can go. You can. It's a mindset. You have to find the resources to do so. Magician reverse is powerless. It's like. You know, I feel like we also have somebody here that, you know, has probably been abused, you know, and they've let their, their mind, you know, they think that they, they think that they can't, they think that they can't, it's a, it, that's what they think. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is grieving. It's grieving over a loss, right? It's regret. It's difficulty. We have somebody here that is in a place of deep sorrow. You know, they're, they're, they may even f have some self-blame, blaming themselves, you know. We have somebody here that is suffering, obviously. Refusing to take a new approach. Not doing anything. There is an opportunity that is being overlooked. You see it right here next to my finger? 
That's it's like we got somebody here that is so distraught with where they're at they they can't even see that there is an opportunity there is an opportunity that is not even being considered there's no success i mean the world card reverse is a lack of success it's that's flogging a dead horse it, it is repeating the same mistakes we have somebody here that needs and it's laziness we got somebody here that needs to step into new territory they need to this is lacking goals lacking willpower stuck in the present again with the six of swords reversed as well this is stuck in the present you know you're not stuck that's a mindset it is a mindset we have somebody here that is not learning from their mistakes. They're not learning their lessons. It's like there's a need to, it feels like we have somebody here that needs to ask for help or they need to look in another direction, but they're refusing to. There could be some arrogance here with the magician reverse. We have somebody here that is arrogant. You know, they don't wanna, they don't wanna let somebody know that they've lost their power. Or they don't have any resources or that they're vulnerable. I also feel like we have somebody here that has been manipulated and the manipulation is holding them back. They may feel guilty with the five of cups. That could be guilt, it could be shame, it could be, you know, sadness over, you know, having to go. It's like, I don't really wanna go, but this is flogging a dead horse. You know, there's a need to look in a new direction. Seriously, go in that new direction. There's no success here. Magician reverse and the world card reverse, that's no success. There's no victory, there's no success. Staying in this situation that is so sad and distraught and troublesome is not going to bring anything successful. It's not. There is some sort of feeling ashamed as well. I feel like we have somebody here that has been made to think that they're not good enough, that they can't do it. You know, that's manipulation. I feel like we have somebody here that has been manipulated to the point where they, they feel, and maybe they're, they're too ashamed to ask for help or too ashamed to go somewhere, you know, because it's embarrassing. There could be public embarrassment with the world card. It's publicly embarrassing. It could be embarrassing, you know, to the family or the friends or whoever somebody is going back to. It's embarrassing that something didn't work out. It wasn't successful. That's pride. You gotta swallow your pride. You want peace and harmony? The Six of Swords, upright. You take that journey. You go You go down that path as troublesome as it is. You, you ride the waves, okay? You find peace and harmony on the other side. So if you want peace and harmony, you have, to, you have to take that journey. You have to step into that new territory. You have to find your inner resources to do so. And you may have to ask for help. You may have to swallow your pride. We have somebody here that needs to be honest with themselves. They need to love themselves. They need to know their value. They need to take action. I just read The Magician. It has all four elements. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Self-love. Self-value. Ace of Wands is passion, but it's also take action. Ace of Swords, be honest with yourself. It's reversed. We got somebody who's got no self-love. They're being dishonest with themselves. They don't know their value, and they're not taking any action. But that's in the past. There's a golden opportunity here because the magician that ace of pentacles, golden opportunity, you're going to throw the golden opportunity away. Ooh. The Empress. The Empress is the birth of a new life. She is a giver of life. She is a creator. She creates life. 
This is a beauty, right? This is a beauty. This is a domestic goddess. This is a mother. What does a mother do? A mother does whatever she has to do to make something grow. She goes through the pain. She suffers. She suffers. But boy, when that miracle comes, that blessing comes, it is the most beautiful thing. And she suffers for that blessing. So we might have somebody here that needs to do whatever it takes. And if it means that you have to be your own mother and get yourself out of a situation that is not safe, then you better get your ass in gear. Anyhow, and you know what else a mother does? I did something, uh, an Empress show on Empress TV. And it got a little harsh. Mothers protect their children. Mothers tell their children when they're being abused. So some of you may not have liked my little episode over there on Empress TV. I happen to be an Empress. I am a Taurus. But I wouldn't let my child be abused. And I'm going to tell my child and this is you telling yourself, okay? When she is being cheated, or she is being lied to, or she is being delusional. Because that's what a mother does. A mother is going to tell her children the truth to protect them. So perhaps you need to protect yourself. Treat yourself like you would treat your children. Tough love. Get out of the situation you're in. If it is causing you pain and sorrow and suffering, what, was a, what will a mother do? A mother will make an escape. She will do whatever it takes to protect her children. She, a real mother. So anyway, the Empress creates life, okay? She creates life. So we have the birth of a new life here. We have somebody here that is probably creating a new life. They've been stagnant. There's been no success, but it's time, okay? The Empress is time. It's time to, for a delivery, right? It's time to plant that seed. It's time to create. It's time to do whatever it takes because that's what a mother does. Judgment reversed. Poor judgment calls. Time to move on from that bad choice. Be honest with yourself. Be ready to be judged. There's a need to admit. Admit the truth. We have somebody here that's definitely not being dishonest. They're not being honest. They're not listening. There's definitely shame here too. I have shame like three times. It's like feeling ashamed, feeling guilty. With next to the five of cups, the judgment reverse. This is next to the five of cups. That's guilty. Guilty. Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. There's guilt here. Feeling ashamed. Feeling guilty. We have somebody here that is feeling guilty. They're feeling ashamed. Maybe they have regrets for abusing. I don't know if they abuse. There's abuse here with the magician reverse. There is some unfinished business as well. There's karma. Judgment is karma. We may have somebody here that is, I don't know, somebody's being found guilty or they are guilty, or they're, they feel guilty, there's guilty and ashamed. Somebody feels guilty and ashamed. They're not having any success. They're not. 
They're not. They're not having any success at all. Maybe they abused this empress. The magician reverses abuse. It is. It's abuse. It's manipulation. It's somebody that is very cunning, clever, tricky. This is a trickster that has abused their power. The empress is underneath it. Poor judgment call. Guilty. No success. We do have somebody here that's not having any success because of their abuse. So that's karma. So that's a good thing, I guess. Um, but this empress, she is creating. She's creating a new life. Somebody's having a hard time. They're having a really hard time. They're suffering. They feel guilty and ashamed of what they did. in reverse this is a horrendous loss this is a shocking unexpected horrendous loss this is a setback it's a loss of fortune somebody it may be losing it all with the world card reversed as well this is definitely bad luck no success Losing their fortune, poor judgment call, being judged. There's bad karma here. There's somebody getting some karma, seriously. Judgment reversed, wheel of fortune reversed. It's for, because of how they treated this empress is upright. She ain't reversed. We have a master manipulator here who, I don't know, it feels like they hurt somebody. Hmm. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune reverse right under the world reverse. That is no success. Nothing fortunate. Nothing fortunate is coming. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. This is somebody that is very arrogant, that abused their power. This person is losing something big. Big, 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 big. Refusing to take a new approach, experiencing a setback, experiencing loss. This person is repeating negative patterns over and over and over again. World reversed, wheel of fortune reversed. This person's not learning from their mistakes. I feel like we have somebody here that is really struggling with Abuse. It feels like this is an abuser. Anyhow. Empress. The Empress is a creator. Okay, she's she's the goddess of love. She's giving birth to a new life. There's no chance in reconciliation with the Empress. The Empress does not go backwards. The Wheel of Fortune, Reaper, she does not go backwards. She doesn't, the Empress, and I said this during my Empress TV, and that it pissed some people off. The Empress does not go backwards. She only goes forwards. No chance. Judgment reversed. There's no chance. There's no chance in reconciliation. There's no going back. Page of Wands reverse. That is a setback. It's bad news. Something to do with a child here as well. We have somebody here that sees themselves as a victim. This person has nothing good to say. This is somebody that is very immature and childish, that is mean-spirited and aggressive. Page of Wands reverse. This is somebody that It's like a meddler. This is somebody that is very, very childish. You know, they're not very...
focused. They have no staying power. Childish individual. Unreliable. This is somebody who makes excuses. You know, the, the page of wands reverse. It's somebody that makes excuses. So we have somebody here that doesn't want to be held accountable because judgment is behind it. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. Page of Wands. We got somebody here who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions, but karma never, ever, ever, ever loses an address, ever. Somebody's about to receive some karma and they are going to lose something. They are somebody's past mistakes with the judgment reverse and the wheel of fortune reverse that's past mistakes are coming back to haunt them it has to do with a mother or a wife or a feminine that was abused this uh, this this feminine was abused No success, flogging a dead horse. The past is coming back to haunt somebody. I don't know, I don't know. Somebody may get tested, they may get tested. They, their value, they, the Empress is about value, okay? She's all about value, she knows her value. The Empress may have her value tested. She may, because something could be coming back from the past. The Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Judgment reversed, the world reversed, or, and this might not be a person. This may be somebody similar. You know, this could be somebody very similar to a person in the past that is abusive, you know, that is coming around to test somebody's value to see if you've learned your lesson. Doesn't have to be that exact same person. It could be a repeat of the past. It's like somebody is coming around that is very similar, very, very similar to the person in the past. This could be a repeat with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Judgment reverse, the World card reverse. Those are lessons, okay? Did you have you learned your lesson? The Empress is about value, and the Empress is, is a creator. She's she's created abundance, and she's in the upright. So it feels like she's created her abundance. I feel like she's gonna be tested. Somebody is coming back. Somebody is either somebody that is coming back around or it's somebody that is very, very similar to see if somebody has learned their lesson. It's karmic. It's a karmic lesson. And I don't want to hear any bullshit or it's my karmic or it's his karmic. That's delusional. That's your fucking mother talking. Step out of your delusions for a minute. That's the karmic. No, child. You're delusional. You need to stop. Stop. Know your value. Wake up. Come out of the dark. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is progress. It's a victory. This is the end of a conflict. It's the end of a battle. It's victory after sorrow. This is like my hero card. So I wonder if we have a hero here. I wonder if we have somebody here that is very noble, that has, is all done playing games. This is like a victory march, right? I'm all done playing games. I'm all done fighting. It's time to move on from that poor judgment call. 
Stop going backwards. You have somebody here that is noble that you have been missing. You haven't been seeing it because you've been focusing on somebody from the past. That's the Five of Cups. There's somebody else here that is noble. This is not the person from the past. Do not repeat the same mistakes from the past. It's time to reach for the light. It's time to come out of the dark. It's time for you to receive a blessing. Do you know your value? Or do you want to be duped? Do you want to be tricked? Do you want to be schemed? You know, do you want to stay stuck in this desperate situation that is nothing but trouble? The choice is yours. You can flog the dead horse and stay stuck in the present. Or you can step on that victory path and go in a new direction and get the blessing that you deserve. The choice is definitely going to be yours. You're, I do believe that there is a couple of options here. I believe that we have, you know, an opportunity to repeat the past or an opportunity to step forward into unknown territory and leave the past behind. Somebody's past is definitely coming back to haunt them. And it could be a suitor with a page of wands. Okay, it could definitely be a suitor that is very similar to one of the, pa one of the past. This is somebody that uh, is negative, abusive, uh, doesn't have any resources, and is looking for some, a woman that doesn't know her value that they can abuse. You can you can choose to be that abusive individual or abused individual, man or woman, or you can choose to end the cycle now. World reversed, wheel of fortune reversed. You can end the karmic judgment before it cycle at any time. But that karmic cycle is yours. Okay, it's yours. It's not your ex's new girlfriend or your ex's new boyfriend, okay? Wake up. It's your karmic cycle. So th this is about giving birth to a new life and moving on from a bad choice perhaps telling somebody no with the magician card reversed I'm not going down that path I'm not interested I've learned my lesson good luck